hi and welcome this is MJ in this video I will show you how to fix battery is connected but not charging in your laptop I will try to show you four or five steps so watch this video carefully so first and the basic method is when you facing your battery is not charging and then just go to setting and now click on system then click on troubleshoot click on other troubleshoot select the power and meanwhile connect your charger to your laptop okay so connect your power adapter to laptop and perform these tasks so click on run the troubleshoot okay so troubleshoot is complete uh, i think i don't have any battery issue in the troubleshoot so let's see what next we have to do if you facing still the battery is not charging so second option is good start and then here just type edit power plan click on it and then click on change advanced power setting and simply click on restore plan default okay if you did any serious changes in the uh, power option then don't restore but if the restore is doesn't affect anything to you then simply click on restore plan default and click s that's it now click ok so now unplug the charger and restart your laptop and then connect the adapter to your laptop hopefully this will fix your problem if it's not work then the third option is check your battery health so for this just go to start and here type command prompt right click on it and click on run as administrator and here simply click on power cfg space forward slash battery health sorry battery report type it so power cfg space forward slash battery report and hit enter so just copy this link c dot slash windows system 32 so just select this one from here okay like this and press ctrl c and then go to this pc and here simply paste and hit enter so your battery report will appear so we have to focus on two things like design capacity and full charge capacity so we have to calculate our battery percentage so open the calculator okay so here what i'm doing here i'm taking this full charge capacity value and then divide with this design capacity okay so 25 399 is my full charge capacity 25 3 double line divided by this one design capacity 32 0 7, 6, and hit enter 79 so this is my battery percentage health so my battery percentage health is 79 if you get 30 percent or 20 percent that's mean your battery is near to dying okay so you need to replace your battery so my battery is still good in condition as you can see it, uh, 79 is not a, a very bad condition so my battery health is around 80 percent okay so this is how you can check your battery and the next and the next step is just go to this pc just right click on this pc and click on more option then click on manage and here click on device manager remember keep connected your charger to laptop okay so keep connected your charger to laptop and extend the batteries just uninstall microsoft ac adapter right click on it and click on uninstall device and click uninstall don't worry when you uh, 
turn on or restart your laptop it will automatically install the battery driver and after this also uninstall this microsoft acpi right click on it and click on uninstall and click on uninstall so you can see here my battery account is gone now so after this very important thing we have uninstalled the battery driver so our laptop is running on the main power source that is charger now restart your laptop okay simply go to the uh, power and then restart the your laptop and it will automatically install your battery driver So after a restart, I got my battery icon back. As you can see here, battery icon is back. That means our driver is successfully installed. Let's cross check it. Let's go to this PC and then go to show more option, manage, device manager, and the batteries. So as you can see, it will automatically install the driver after you restart. So after this, this will fix your charging issue. If you are still facing problem, then the final option is hard reset your battery. So turn off your laptop, okay? So turn off your laptop or shut down your laptop. And after this, hold the power button of your laptop for one minute, okay? So hold the power button of your laptop for one minute and then your laptop will start and hopefully this will fix your problem so i have showed five step so let me know in comments which option or which method is fix your problem so thank you for watching guys catch you next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much